just explaining to you what happened in Gisborne with Oe uh, Poha to uh, Hapu treaty claims with Suni Kaur and Oe Poha to Hapu um, hearing with the Crown and treaty negotiator of the Office of the Treaty Settlements, Chris Phillison. He's the Attorney General and um, he had a delegation there. They were welcomed on to the Marae, Poho Urawari Marae in Gisborne, Kaiti, uh, on the 6th of September 2012. Uh, so it was about 7.30 in the morning and it was a successful uh, meeting with uh, Te Ateanga Ahauti and uh, Te Aoneone, uh, Hapus as well. Uh, they had their hearings in the morning, uh, right up till midday. And uh, Sue Nakura and Queen um, Matrachi Morale had their Ohepoa to uh, meeting after lunch. It was closed uh, to other Hapus, but however, uh, Ngati Pro seems to have snuck in to that closed meeting. Uh, Api Mahuika, their leader of the Iwi Trust, was there. Um, te, runga, te Runanga Nui o Ngati Pra uh, Settlements. They're the ones that are supposed to have got the uh, 132 million from the Crown for um, uh, treaty grievances of uh, their Iwi, uh, Ngati Pra Iwi. But um, Suna Cora's uh, lawyer, um, Charles Hirschfeld, actually stopped it dead in his tracks and wanted uh, ordered an investigation of their whakapapa. Uh, that's the title. And the land, uh, land historic land claim, uh, which, uh, which uh, the hapu is challenging now. Uh, they're speaking for themselves in their natural persons at the hui. And so uh, uh, that was emphasised by Sue Nakura and um, Kui um, in their submissions to the Crown quite clearly that they were there to represent their hapu as natural persons, that's in the flesh and blood. Uh, whereas the iwi, the Runanga Nui o Ngāti Pra, claimants uh, used lawyers uh, for their uh, submissions. And they would have got away with it if, uh, if it wasn't for Sue uh, to put the pressure on, continuously put pressure on uh, to stop them. Now, Sue is demanding that the 132 million be paid straight to the Hapu, which I agree, and also uh, to give back all that money that they, uh, they uh, uh, got given by the Crown. So that means um, uh, unlawfully obtaining by fraud um, uh, fraudulently using the Hapu's Whakapapa and land titles to get that money. That's the 900,000 they got to go in uh, for Ngāti Pro to go into Australia, fly there with delegations to go and round up all the Ngāti Pro people to get a mandate. Well, Sue went across there and stopped all of that and said, no, they got no uh, whakapapa. And so they came out with uh, less than 8,000 uh, people in there, 3,000, I think, all together. And they were going to form, well, they did form a mandate just from that many people when there's about 67,000, 70,000 uh, Ngāti Pro or, or people in the hapū of uh, the East Coast. Uh, so, all of that put together uh, uh, added up to the iwi now uh, being uh, accused of fraud and corrupting the history to get that money uh, from the Crown. And the Crown equally um, um, accused of theft of the hapu's whakapapa, the title, to get that money. So in other words, the iwi is the Crown itself talking to the Crown itself, uh, the uh, um, government, uh, Crown, Chris, Chris Finlayson, um, settling the, these uh, grievances. 
in, uh, in uh, treaty, treaty settlements. So, very serious uh, uh, allegations against the Crown itself and against the Iwi. Now, uh, very cleverly put together by Sue Nakora uh, in affidavit. So she swore on the Bible, put the Bible down, and the chairman of the uh, Uepotu, uh, uh, I mean the Poho Rawari Marae, where they had the meeting, the chairman put the Bible in front of her and said she swear on the Bible, yes, da da da, Sue Nakora, and um, give her a statement. This is it here. That's, that's the, I'll, I'll put it on Facebook so you can see. And the video of her actually uh, uh, saying all this uh, in front of the crowd. She had plenty of time to do it. Uh, and um, two women, uh, natural people, uh, talking for themselves. And so Chris Pillison in his um, address, uh, comments uh, afterwards, was that he preferred to listen to people uh, directly rather than through lawyers. And this, in this case he's inadvertently, inadvertently saying, why have lawyers when you can do it yourself and save the money? And so that writes off the iwi uh, using their, their lawyer, Matanuku, uh, Mahuika. You see, his name is not on the claim. It's Tirunanga or Ngati Prado claiming on, as a name of a person. It can't talk to itself. It, there's no one there. And so they use Api Rana Mahuika, the leader of, of the chairman of the Ngati Pro, use his son, a lawyer, to talk for their fictitious, faceless claimant against Tsu Nakura and their face in front of the Crown. So Chris Finlayson for the Crown is saying, I would rather hear it from you than to hear it from a lawyer. You see? Right there. Anyway, he's, that's his closing remarks. And he said this, I don't like being called a thief. And I, I don't like my, my staff and my uh, people that represent the Crown being called Kupapa Māris. Not very nice. And genocide and uh, treason, all of those terms that were used in, uh, in, uh, in the submissions. But however, he says, I, I, will, I will look at it and I will respond. You see? Now, he must respond. If it's anything like the Governor-General, that's what he said too. I will respond. This is Anand Satin and to Sunakura, when he sacked, which he sacked him. I will respond. But he hasn't yet, he's retired, he's gone. You see, you see what I mean, what the Crown does? It doesn't say what it does. And, and I'm hoping that Chris Pimerson will keep his word. Right? At that meeting you had Salman Parata. You see, he's, he's from the uh, uh, Runanga Ngati Pro. You see, he shouldn't have been there because this was Ohe Portu Hapu meeting. But in the other words, he came in as a Crown paid member to speak for the Crown. You see, come here. And then Api Mahuika, the leader, the chairman, he sits beside me, and I think he saw my hat in the knee, ups and off, right in the middle while Chris Wilson's talking. This is how rude he is in front of the hapu. We all saw him walking out in the meeting, in our meeting, that we had organised with the Crown. Nothing to do with him and his runa now. He was. In other words, he should never have been there, and someone should never have been there anyway. There, Sue's cousin, Sue said, don't worry about it, because she told me to tell anybody who's not supposed to be there to leave. That was my job, but I didn't do it. Uh, I thought it's better if they listen, so that they get embarrassed by being... Sh I knew what Sue was going to do to them, and pull them all pieces in front of the crown. So that's what happened. That's what happened. And I saw someone slide in his chair like this, you know, uh, because... He couldn't believe what he was hearing. Uh, Sue Nakora uh, pulling them to pieces and telling them they're thieves and uh, had no right to that money and they're going to have to give it all back. And that's what she said. So anyway, uh, uh, we're going to wait for, for uh, Nati Pro to refute this affidavit. It sounds like a whole 
some of the words that I put together for Sue is in there. But uh, her lawyer, uh, you know, he, 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 he didn't have anybody to represent her. He just said, you go ahead, print it, like it is, because it's come from you, not from me. Right? That's what he said. He had no, uh, no input into this affidavit. Sue put it together. And me. Okay? And, uh, and some part from, from uh, uh, Tui. Tui uh, Morel. So they're, they're all the poor people. Two uh, chief tennisers. What I call them. Anyway, with Sue, uh, in addition to her claim, being a claimant, she's put another hat on as the Confederation and another hat as the government. So she put notice on Chris Phillips of the Crown about the Confederation over, overarching his title and authority from her authority as the uh, landowner. Okay, so you've got the hapu as the landowner and the confederation. One of the same thing, um, uh, recognised in the Westminster Parliament that she mentioned in this um, as admiralty law. And that's another thing, she's got another head. Um, confederation admiral, so she's an admiral, a prime minister, a treaty negotiator, and a historian, uh, uh, a crown uh, uh, negotiator of law. She's the law of the land, and she's expressing her authority from Westminster Parliament under King William the Fourth jurisdiction and the constitution of the flag, uh, confederation flag. So all those titles she's putting together with her claim. And once she finishes her claim, she puts on her other head and assumes her role as the Prime Minister and the confederation um, uh, leader of Congress. Right? That's state to state with Chris Pumas. And it's not too bothered about the... Uh, Iwi or the government of Wellington because he is the crown in England of the Queen not here in New Zealand even though he's appointed here he's now an honourable of England so that's why he's not bothered that's why he says I'd rather listen to you uh, people talk because I can feel um, what you're saying uh, whereas the lawyers uh, don't have that um, uh, quality in presentation uh, of submissions like this Right, this is, um, uh, uh, this is uh, substantial, it is uh, sensitive, and it is uh, um, uh, very, um, very uh, um, serious matters uh, that uh, have to be addressed. And, and in closing, Chris Ponson says that Ngāti Pro, Iwi, has to sort it out with the hapu. Well, the only way to sort it is to put an affidavit this affidavit in front of the um, runanga to refute. I don't think they can refute it because they can't. They can't fuck up papa to uaportu fuck up papa. That's out, and they can't refute it because it's the truth, and they don't believe in the truth, right? So that's uh, that. So when that happens and they don't refute it, or if they do, surprising, it'll go back to Chris Ferguson, who will make a ruling and pay up uaportu the landowners. The iwi is not a landowner. This is the only way to, to, to find out. Now, all the rest of the iwis in the country will fall in the same uh, scenario that the hapu will ask for all their money back after this precedent is set. Now, we go back to Waitangi and Kingi Tauru. Uh, uh, we'll be talking with uh, Sue Nakora because they are uh, together. The authority from the Confederation of the Maori government comes from Titi Marae, his Marae, and so we report back uh, to that uh, authority and then go off to the United Nations and also to the Hague, whether they like it or not, the Iwi and the uh, uh, Runanga, uh, uh, Iwi, Iwi Trust, Maryland Court, uh, and, and everything under the Crown here is going to go to the Hague. Whether, they, whether we go there or not, um, um, with reference to the claim, wouldn't matter because it's already in this affidavit that they're going to be taken to the UK if they don't comply uh, with uh, Uruapoti Hapu. So that'll set a precedent for all the rest of the Hapis in the country 
uh, like I was saying, uh, it's referred back to Titi Marai and the uh, uh, Congress of the Maori Confederation of Chiefs, the landowner, the legal landowner, recognised in the UN, the Hague, and uh, also Westminster Parliament in London, where the authority comes from, for the Admiralty Law of this um, seabed uh, and international waters. We have a flag, the Confederation flag, that is recognised uh, by uh, Britain for protection, for our public protection of our ships over the lands and right through the world. That means we can start enforcing the acts on these seabeds out here and talk to anybody who's out there. They must come to the Confederation, not to the government of Wellington. They must come to us and talk if they want to drill holes in the sea. It's our, uh, it's our authority to, do, to, to issue permits, not the government of Wellington. They don't have admiralty law of their own. They're borrowing it from our own flag. If you have a look at Waitangi, on the flagpole, the Navy flagpole, at um, Waitangi Marae, on the other side of the bridge, you'll see the Confederation flag there on the left, and the British flag on the right, and the uh, Union Jack New Zealand flag on the top. Well, in fact, they are usurping the Admiralty law of the Confederation's flag, which is already set in place by the King, William IV. It was King William III who put together commercial law, uh, and admiralty law of the sea for, for, for their ships, for the British ships uh, uh, right through the world. And so they gave Maori, the hapus, the same authority. So we are able to use that admiralty law in our courts, our supreme or superior uh, um, um, common law courts, which is the Marae itself. So Titi Marae is a common law court, straight to Westminster uh, Parliament, uh, and the government of England. That's our partner, the government of England. The partner of the uh, government in Wellington is the Queen herself. The, she's up for fraud and corruption of that crown, right? And so um, uh, they have an assumed sovereignty and no admiralty law of their own. They have no declaration of independent state of their own, so they have to go and make their own uh, because the declaration is ours under the uh, 1835 Declaration of Independence flag. Sovereign, as a sovereign state, recognised as, as our own sovereign state. So I'm just telling you, the last piece of um, Sunakura's submissions was the Admiral, uh, Admiralty Law of the Sea, the International Waters Treaty, with the uh, 59 states <coughs> in the United Nations, as uh, the Hapu uh, Maori Confederation is one of them. One of those um, um, already there. We're already there and already around the world uh, to use that flag and police the waters and put our own X right over the, the seas um, uh, rather than uh, the government and their um, uncertainty and assumed um, authority over the, the maritime laws. We'll go over the top of the maritime laws with our admiralty laws. Okay? So that's what I wanted to say in this uh, uh, video clip. Uh, and I'll get back to you uh, and put the videos on uh, Facebook. I'm just downloading them now. And we'll have this one and the other two, uh, uh, the Sue Nakora and uh, Kui Morel videos and, and this on there. Okay? So that, uh, that was a successful hui meeting with the Crown. And now we will meet uh, again next uh, week with the lawyers to action this affidavit and put the pressure on them. Okay, so we're, we're looking good. Thank you very much uh, to people watching in Australia uh, or part two, or followers of um, the American Confederation uh, government of Aotearoa New Zealand and, um, and Sue Nakora, the Prime Minister of the Maori government and also the, uh, the leader of, for the uh, Confederation of Chiefs in uh, Titi Marae. She has, she is, she's mandated to, to do that uh, through King Itaudua and his tamata uh, which is the high authority in, in, um, in, in Waitangi, direct to uh, the government of England, our partner. Okay, thank you very much, and we'll see you soon, and be good to each other. And I'll switch it off, and say goodbye. Good day.